In this video, we're going to talk about how to install the injection pump cam housing or high pressure fuel pump on the ISX 15, not 12, 15, without the special tool that aligns the pump and holds it in place. The reason you need the tool if the pump is assembled is that one of those tappets is on a cam ramp, and as soon as you uh, pull the gear out, the gear is going to twist because it put the ramp, the force of the spring on the ramp turns the cam in the pump. Then your gear is not lined up properly. Why do you have to line the gear? Uh, if you don't, the pump and gear train can be extremely noisy. They say that it doesn't damage anything, but if the engine's hot, oil's thin, it can sound like the gear train's coming apart. It is really loud. Sometimes you'll have a whine. Uh, sometimes you'll have a bad rattle, a clatter. So that's why Cummins took the time to figure out exactly where to, how to install that pump so that it minimizes the gear train noise. That's why we time it. The only way to time the pump with the, without that tool is to pull the high pressure head off. So when you go buy your parts, you're going to buy the front gasket, the O-ring for the gear pump in the back, and you're going to buy the head gasket for the top of the pump. If you take off that fuel housing and pull the actuator, you're going to buy that gasket and O-ring, but I wouldn't take those apart if you don't have to. Take off the least amount you have to. Of course, you're going to clean everything spotless before you pull the head off the pump, and you can pull the head off the pump on the bench. You don't have to do it in chassis. When you pop it out, you'll feel the gear spin. Don't worry about it. You're going to bar the engine over. If you don't have the pin to pin the crank on your damper, it says insert pin. And there's a line scribed in the damper between those two words. You'll turn the damper until insert pin. The line between those two words is lined up perfectly with your valve set mark that's in the upper cover that little bump and then your crank is going to be in time and remember when you're pinning your crank 360 degrees you don't worry about 720 like your time in a cam because you just need to worry about get that up to insert pin and then you're going to pull the, the uh, pump head off and the springs out of and they'll, they'll come out with the head usually and that's the tappets will be in there. And then you'll line up your mark on your gear and you'll put your new gasket on. Everything's cleaned, of course. And you'll slide the cam housing in and bolt it all up. And then you can put your new head gasket on and your pump head, torque all that to spec, put your transfer pump on, and you should be good to go. Uh, things should run just fine. So let's take a look at the pieces again. And that's how you do it. Thanks for joining me. Okay, here's a quick look at our tool again. Part number 557-2664. Another view. Tool comes one piece like this. It doesn't come apart. There's the other side. And see the square for your ratchet drive there. And here we're looking at the cam housing. And I've set the tool on the back of this. This is our old housing. See the oil hole there? Uh, that's usually the reason you're pulling this off because a little bit of oil starts leaking out of that gasket there. There's an O-ring. Uh, this is a steel gasket that goes on here with O-rings in it. So there's your little divot. You line up with that bolt hole straight on through. And that, that uh, hole in the gear there, that's where the uh, timing pin is to time the gear to the cam housing. That gear will not come off without a special puller. Uh, Believe me, it will not come off without a special puller. That thing is on there. It's on a sh pressed shoulder. Uh, here in the back, we've got our tool installed, and there's the bolt. Notice there's a little slop in that bolt hole there in the bottom right. It doesn't have to be perfect because once you get that on there, and you go to put the pump in, you really have to clock it to miss your gear tube. I got my finger in the hole there where your alignment mark goes, and you would be ready to install it. Now, We've got the pump head off, but if we if this pump was all assembled, we would have to have that tool on the back to hold that gear in the right spot. And remember again that our crank has to be pinned on the damper. It says insert pin, 
there's a line, line that up exactly with your line on your front cover for doing your overhead set.